Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use the loot res add-on that we use in Tab C. Uh, first of all, we obviously have the add-on installed. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna have four macro slots. You have this one right here, which um, loads up a frame where you then paste in the reserves. I'm gonna show that in a minute. This add-on is nice if you're doing ZG. Give yourself loot master, obviously. This is the reset button. This just resets the load frame. And then you have this one. This is the most important one. Uh, this is the one we're gonna use to roll out the loot. Oh fuck. What the fuck was it called again? Hold on, hold on. Um, no blooper is involved. Um, this is the <laughs> this is the macro we use to roll out the loot. And you have to have this key binder to a keyboard slot. Like mouse buttons will not work for this for whatever reason. That's the four macros you're gonna need. Next you're gonna every time you're gonna do the um reserve shit. You have to go into your user settings on Discord, appearance, and then message display. It has to be compact for this to work properly. And then uh, the way you set up the actual uh, threads, you copy paste. Um, the first message should always be the title of the raid, followed by like we do Tabsy, and then the raid name, and then the date in this format right here. So the correct format to write this is your character name with the capital start. Then the spacebar, dash, spacebar, and then the item name you want. And that has to be one-to-one, -one, like exact copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this. Go to our load macro we made. You add the bracket up here because it never pastes that for some reason. You double check everything is right. Uh, reserves that and has week two prior. Uh, you can do this in two different ways. Either you just remove these uh, numbers next to everyone's reserves. While the item is like one to one correct again and you go about that or you just delete the reserves that aren't prior for the week to so say this guy has a uh, week two reserve and this guy has week five i would just delete this and then delete this and then i load it that way so the way you actually roll out loot um okay so i have my roll uh loot macro set to alt c and if i then use this macro say i want to roll out the shard it goes to main spec roll first, and it keeps track of every rolls, and it also keeps in mind if people reserved it and only tracks the people who reserved it. So if I reserved, let me, I can actually show you. Let me load the entire thing and then add myself. And if I then click it again, you see the name pops up of the people who reserved the actual item, and you can just, it tells you where the item should go to. And then if I then roll again, it's, it goes to main spec. You have 12 se seconds to roll. If you roll outside the frame here, it doesn't actually keep track of the number. Let's say nobody rolls a main spec for fashion coin. I can then click the macro again, and then it then goes into off spec roll. And here's where you could put in like transmog rolls and all that shit. I'm pretty sure there's a transmog roll option as well if you click it again, but it has to be items that aren't soul bound. So yeah, that that's about it pretty much. Oh, 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 and another quick thing to note before I like, start editing this video and shit. Gotta go take take a shit. Um, the way like the formatting is in the loot reserve channels and clickers right now is it w it wouldn't work if you, we if we started doing the um. But you have to like fix all the formatting for next week if um we're gonna use this. I'm gonna go take a shit.